hello. Welcome to the final day of the Pearson Global Forum. I hope the past couple of days have been informative and inspiring as you engage and exchange ideas with leading scholars and policymakers. The theme of this year's forum, the climate of conflict, is especially relevant at this moment in time. While a global pandemic has reminded us just how interconnected we are, we continue to see new conflicts, disunity, and shifting international relationships that make the goals of peace and stability seem elusive. You are here today because you are committed to understanding the causes and consequences of conflict and coming up with workable solutions. Since 2015, the Pearson Institute for the Study and Resolution of Global Conflicts has been a pioneer in leading these types of discussions. Made possible by gift from the Thomas L. Pearson and Pearson Family Members Foundation, the Institute is dedicated to applying rigorous, evidence-based, and quantitative social sciences research methodologies to the issues of global conflict. As the provost, a researcher, and longtime professor at the University of Chicago, I know firsthand the impact that research can have beyond the academic sphere. Scholars at the university are known for field-defining research, and our culture of rigorous inquiry pushes us to pursue bold and new ideas and challenge conventional norms in pursuit of knowledge. The Pearson Institute shares our commitment to rigorous inquiry, and that is what sets us apart. The Institute is educating the next generation of scholars and leaders through course offerings at the Harris School of Public Policy, while also bridging the gap between policy and research by connecting academics and leaders working in conflict areas. The four Pearson faculty chairs are doing research that spans the globe. Professors James Robinson, Owen Drilla Dubey, Roger Meyerson and Chris Blackman are conducting research in Colombia, Bolivia, El Salvador, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Afghanistan, Liberia, and elsewhere to uncover new insights to prevent and mitigate conflict. As you engage in conversations today about conflict resolution, negotiations, and combating polarization, I hope you will be encouraged by the role that you can play in helping make our world more peaceful for future generations. I wish you all a very productive day at the forum.